an about face at the Forest Hill Police Department. The department is now telling reporters no comment. This is after, though, admitting that their officers did question a kidnapping suspect, but then they left when they didn't find the girl. Uh, Robbie Owens is still at Forest Hill Police Headquarters. Robbie, were you given any kind of explanation today? Well, Gilma, after initially agreeing to answer a few questions, a department spokesperson late this afternoon cited the, quote, ongoing criminal investigation and warned that the department would not share any more information about what happened, which is, as you know, that's disappointing because what we know already demands answers. We got her. We got her. We got her. Fort Worth and Forest Hill officers swarmed the Wood Spring Suites early Sunday rescuing an eight-year-old girl snatched in broad daylight Saturday evening, the brazen crime leaving the neighborhood stunned. Still can't get my head around it. And people that are just, uh, you know, wrecked with um, an anguish because of this situation that one of our own was taken in broad daylight uh, with her mom right there. It's just truly unbelievable. With the child now safe at home, a jubilant community now questioning whether the child's ordeal could have ended sooner. Forest Hill police have acknowledged that a clerk at the Wood Springs Hotel called around midnight Sunday to report a possible sighting of the suspect and later directed officers to his room. In a statement released early Tuesday, a Forest Hill police spokesperson writes, quote, the officers made visual inspection of the areas of the room that appeared to be large enough to conceal the missing child. With no one located and no other information available, the officers cleared the scene. A second 911 call brought officers back to the hotel some two hours later. They were almost immediately joined by Fort Worth officers and the eight-year-old was rescued. Meanwhile, suspect Michael Webb appeared today before a federal judge, suggesting that he is now also facing additional charges. Now, during that federal court hearing today, Webb appeared with his wrists and waist shackled and was quiet and soft-spoken. He has asked for a probable cause hearing. I'm told that now scheduled for June 4th. Live at Forest Hill Police Headquarters, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.